Hello everyone and welcome back. So in today's video, I am attempting to cook crab curry. I never cooked it before and this will be my first time. And if you're watching this video on the day that I upload it, today is Christmas. So I'd like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and I hope you are all enjoying your holidays. So let's get started with this crab curry. First, I'm going to show you all the ingredients that you'll need to cook it. And um, I got this recipe from my mother. If you know of something that I'm missing, you can let me know in the comments because I'm not a professional chef or anything. I'm just trying to cook, to learn. So these are the ingredients that you'll need for this crab curry. So you'll have like uh, onions, tomatoes, some chilies, garlic, salt. What is this? Methi seeds, some chili powder and all these spices. This is, uh, I think it's mustard seeds and these are cloves and that is turmeric, cinnamon, chili powder and uh, I forgot what the yellow one was called. That's turmeric, right? Okay, whatever. And then they have, I have the crab in the back and these are, that's crushed ginger and this is... Uh, I don't really know the names, but I'll find out and let you know. So firstly, I'm going to cut all these ingredients like the onions, tomatoes and so on. And through the magic of editing, my tomatoes are cut as well as my onions. So now that the ingredients are ready, let's get to the crab because that's what we'll start with first. So I have my gas stove ready and my pot because first we are going to fry the crab in oil before we put any other ingredients in it that was like this full bottle what was this 250 ml so i'm just gonna put my stove on and let this uh, oil get warm medium heat should be fine While this oil is getting warm, let me show you the crab. So I bought this crab yesterday at Checkers and then I took it home. I cleaned it. I like broke it up into like smaller pieces. So apart from like cleaning it and breaking it apart, I also like uh, bashed it a bit, like made it a bit smashy. So when I put the oil and the ingredients, the ingredients go inside of the crab and it cooks well inside so let me get this in the pot now now that this oil is warm i can add this crab into it So I'm just going to let this crab cook in the oil for about 10 to 15 minutes. After that, I'll take it out of the pot and then we'll do the spices and stuff. This need more fire. So as I said before, this is the first time I'm attempting to cook crab curry. It is also the first time that I bought crab like with my own money. And now I finally realize why we only eat crab curry during Christmas time, like in my family. We only eat crab curry like during Christmas time because I realized that crab is quite expensive. Like I paid about 300 rand for this and these are like not very big ones. Yeah, I now know why we only eat crab during Christmas because it's expensive. So I'm poked some holes you can see when I was cleaning it at home, I did try and cook all day. The reason why we do this is so the oil and the spices and stuff can go in, inside of the crab. But I did this cooking when I was at home, but I just wanted to let you know about it. The reason why we poke it, so it gets cooked inside the oil. Oil and spices and stuff can go inside of the crab. So now that this crab has been cooking for about 15 minutes, 
I'm going to take it out of the pot into this container. I should have brought a better pot to put this crab in when I'm taking it out, but this is fine. So now the oil is still on the stove. I'm going to add these three spices. So this is jeera, murthy herbs and mustard seeds into the oil that's still on the pot. Just a bit. I'm adding in all the onions. I'm adding all the other spices into the curry. The clove, cinnamon sticks, the chili powder, the garlic, all the other spices, I'm going to add it into the oil now. About three big spoons of chili powder will be going in. After adding in all these spices, I'm just going to let it fry for a few minutes. Mix it all together. The chilies as well. I'm going to add the tomatoes in now, as well as the garlic. Next up, I have some tamarind here, which I'm going to dissolve with some water. Let me just add some water in this. Just going to dissolve this in the water. So this is what it looks like with all of the ingredients in the pot. Now I'm going to add this tambourine mixture into the pot. So lastly, I'm going to add some salt, about two teaspoons of it. I'm just mixing everything together now. Now that this curry is bubbling, I'm going to add the crab back in. And when I add the crab back in, I'm going to leave it to cook about 30 to 40 minutes on medium heat. Just mixing it a bit so the crab on the top goes down to the bottom and cooks as well. So it's been about 30 minutes now. Let me just get that so you can have a look. Should be fine. Now all there is left to do is eat. And now it's time to dig in. So this crab curry, you can eat it with rice 
although I didn't bring some today. You could eat it with either rice and I think also bread as well. But since I paid so much, I might as well just taste the crab curry. Since crab is so expensive, might as well enjoy it just as it is. Here is my crab curry. Let me do a bit of zooming in. Got some more again. <clears throat> and so, this is the first taste of my own crab curry. It is cooked well. Yeah, this is good. Seriously, I'm not just saying that because I cooked it. The recipe that I followed is sort of like bulletproof. This is delicious. So the crab, I sort of broke it up so it would fit better in the pot. Mm. And the holes I told you to make, so everything sort of soaks in into the crab jar. The spices and the flavor and so on. This is a crab leg. Uh. Mm. So there's still more to eat here, but I'm just showing you butts and pieces. Mm. This juice is dripping all over my hands. No wonder we only eat this Christmas time because this is like a delicacy. So guys, I guess that's it for this video, <coughs> spicy, yeah, I guess that's it for this video. You can follow the recipe that I showed you to make this at home if you'd like and I'd like to thank you all for watching and you can consider subscribing if you enjoy videos like this. I also do like camping and exploring videos so if that's something you might enjoy watching please consider subscribing and I'll see you all in the next video these flies want my crab but I won't let them have it mm -hmm. <clears throat> Spice. I hope everyone is enjoying their holidays. Cook this, they'll enjoy it.